Hello everybody, if you're watching this, this is pertaining to case number three, French hands for the Christmas cases. So, if you're not part of case number three, French hands, you don't need to watch this video. But if you are on case number three, French hands, oh my gosh, you need to watch this video, okay? So hopefully at this point, you've read this document up and down, back and forth, side to side, <clears throat> and you know your case top to bottom, okay? Long story short, Santa Claus has been arrested. Everybody say, oh no. Oh no. And you guys know that there's a defense and there's a prosecution, okay? I'm going to start talking to y'all about the defense, okay? So, um, if you've been assigned to be on the defense for case number three French ends, friendly reminder, this is not a presentation. You are not presenting anything. You're just doing the PowerPoint on it. This used to be a big group project and a big group presentation, but because of COVID, we have completely changed it. So if you're sitting there uh, with remote, if you're one of the remote kids, remember, you're not presenting anything. You're simply doing the PowerPoint, okay? You still have to do the research, include the PowerPoint, but you don't have to present anything, okay? That being said, you know if you're on the defense, I'm gonna get to the prosecution in just a moment. If you're on the defense, you know that Santa Claus has been arrested on Christmas Eve, how terrible can things get? He's been charged with trespassing, breaking and entering, driving an unregistered vehicle, driving without a license, burglary, resisting arrest, animal endangerment, and invasion of privacy. And there's more case details right there. The question is, how do I find evidence or create evidence for this? Um, hopefully, you read this document on Google Classroom about what the Christmas cases is, and hopefully you pay close attention down here where it says, can we create evidence to use in our case? Yes. Yes, you may. But it must benefit your case. But holes in your case provide your group the opportunity to create a strong argument. So that being said, check this out. Down here, I gave you some tips, okay? Check this out. If you're on the defense, your job is to prove that Santa Claus is not a criminal. So that being said, did Holly and Chloe write a letter to Santa? Uh, write Santa a letter. If you say no, you're insane. Because what a great piece of evidence that would be if you had a copy of a letter from Holly and Chloe inviting Santa to the house for milk and cookies and the lay presents, okay? So, if Holly and Chloe were a letter to Santa, you definitely need to include that in your evidence. And just a real quick reminder, you guys got to have at least five pieces of evidence. You can have more than that. But for every piece of evidence, based on this checklist, you got to be able to tell me what it is. How does it relate to the case? And you have a visual aid of it, okay? So make sure if you're going to argue that Holly and Chloe have a uh, word alert to Santa, you need to have a copy of that letter uh, presented in your PowerPoint, okay? Um, was there a trespassing sign on the property? If there was not a no trespassing sign, hey, that means that I technically could go on their uh, property, right? I don't know the rules of trespassing, so maybe you should Google that. Okay, but there was not a no trespassing sign. How could you prove that? Think about that, okay? Check out the definition of invasion of privacy and see if it applies to Santa Claus, okay? If so, don't, I wouldn't pursue, but if it does not apply to Santa, you would definitely need to explain why, okay? And you'd be able to provide me evidence of why it doesn't apply to Santa Claus, okay? Do you need a license to drive a sleigh? First off, if you Google Santa license, tons of stuff will pop up. So that may fix your problem right there. So definitely pursue that avenue. And last but not least, were milk and cookies left out for Santa? If so, hmm, almost sounds like they invited him into the house, okay? Um, if so, you're going to have to prove that they did. So visually, how could you prove that, okay? Because remember, for every piece of evidence you present, you must... Make sure you tell me what it is, how does it relate to the case, and have a visual aid of it, okay? That makes sense? Hope so. All right, that being said, that's the defense, okay? Now, if you're on the prosecution end of this, you guys know that your job is to prove that Santa Claus is a criminal, okay? Same thing as before. I'm not going to read this all over again, but let's get to how you can support that argument, okay? Um, first off. He's been charged with all these things, so let's take a look down here. Are any even supposed to fly, y'all? Are they? Answer that question yourself, maybe out loud. Are they supposed to fly? Do they have wings? How heavy is a reindeer? 
Think about that. How heavy could, as your average reindeer, you may want to Google that, okay? What type of license does one need to fly in sleigh? You need to Google that because you may find out some interesting legal stuff about that. In what ways does sand invade one's privacy, okay? Again, um, Christmas lyrics. I'm thinking of a song. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Why don't you look into that, okay? Also, think about movies where Santa Claus can see. Remember the Polar Express? Hopefully you've seen the Polar Express. Think about what happens in that movie, the Polar Express. Wouldn't it be great to have evidence of that or a screenshot of that situation? Uh, make sure you find out what the def definition of trespassing is. Does it apply to Santa's case? I'm going to give you a hint. It probably does. Okay. Do you have any visual evidence of Santa being in the house? Hmm. Any visual evidence of Sam being in the house? How can you find visual evidence of Sam being in the house? Okay. Now, that being said, those are your tips for the prosecution, and those are also the tips for defense. Okay. So, if you're watching this video, you know, make sure you keep that in mind when you start doing uh, your work for the Christmas cases. If you're not doing case number three, why are you watching this video, man? Why don't you watch case number five or case number 12? Because if you're not on case number three, you don't need to watch this video. But that's okay. There are videos posted about case number five and 12 on um, Google Classroom and the YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send me an email.